Now we are going to add a new element, a, an enemy, the famous or infamous pig object. So this pig um, is going to be a physical object as well. And we are going to create a couple of, I'm sorry, couple of pigs. Let's try to position them, not moving. And go, we are go, we are going to apply force all the time to the pigs, assuming that the pigs don't leave the gravity field and that they are very close to the surface of the earth. So we are going to add a system every tick an action over peak force apply force toward position the position is going to be the center of the earth and the force could be this one but it's very close to one so we are going to use one let's see what happens okay so now we can beat the um, the peaks let's uh well now we are going to add a um, oops we're going to add a reload button in order to reload the game if i fail to hit the picks so we're going to the layout again and we're going to add another object in this case a reload button okay it's a reload button uh, and a we are going to add a new event mouse event on object click it which object reload okay we are going to re re restart the layout okay we're going to save the project um, space okay let's run the project again so now okay we can reload whenever we want using the reload button okay our last step is to add touch input so we insert a new object touch and we are going to add one event which is going to be the same that this one so we are going to copy this I'm sorry but the drift instead of mouse input we are going to use a touch input uh, on touch start and we are going to do this towards the touch x and the touch y so now if we touch the screen we are going to impulse the burst towards the position we uh, touch and we are going to uh, make this event a or block and we are going to add a 
sorry, a new event touch on touch object which object reload button okay let's move this to the mouse so we are going to have a new event if we press with the mouse the reload button or we touch the reload button we're going to restart the layout now we are ready to export this project to Kakun in order to run the game in uh, my Samsung Galaxy Note so well let's save the project and we're going to export the project as Kakun GS uh, exporter so we export and after exporting we are going to open the the folder and make a zip file I already downloaded the the Kakun GS player in my phone so I'm going to move this I'm going to create a zip file and I'm going to move this to my phone this file 